What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We are the Octobers, and we're still so excited, man, because we're brand new to this Game of Thrones journey. You guys were so awesome. You showed the first video so much support. So we're back with episode two. If you're new here, man, just like, subscribe, come hit us up on Patreon if y'all want to see the full uncut raw reactions and let's go stay tuned to the end of the video we're going to talk about this craziness we're about to see and hopefully there's no more ancestral activity going on because that was a little much so we're still processing what we just saw guys this was nuts uh to say the least i'm excited for it let's go let's go so king's landing that's where the king is all right what's on over here winterfell so that was a month's journey that right there bro i think i called it winterville <laughs> you did <laughs> that's on me winterfell there so i yeah i remember, remember that. that winter fell on it and then if you go even further north you get to the the wall oh yeah so it looks like there's some like alaska almost up there or something i like how whoever did that road there they're fire because like straight shot they got an elevator to the top of the wall okay, king's landing is landing. far way down to the south and then over here this is nuts yeah see i didn't catch all this first time yeah i don't know what that said oh the death rockies the horse right they just kind of look like nomads though i didn't know they had somewhere they lived I forgot I was gonna do that. So when I was watching the recap, guys, something really struck me. Did they kill that dude because of like a power position thing, or did they kill him because he knew that they were some like little incest heads? I don't know. I think you it could be saying? both. I think it could be both, but I feel like incest was accepted more back then because you wanted to keep like bloodlines. Well, they threw that man out the window for it. Right, because maybe because she's married to the king and that's like disrespectful to the king, even though he's out there doing job. what he wants. I don't know, man. I eat. I like this guy. Isn't there anything else? The Dothraki have two things in abundance. Grass and horses. People can't live on grass. Oh no, she's eating horse. It'll get easier. That is not what she wanted to hear. Mm-mm. <laughs> Still not far from Pentos, your grace. You'd be more comfortable there. I'll stay with Drogo until he fulfills his end of the bargain and I have my crown. What did Ned Stark want you for? Buying from a slaver? Selling to one. Under my reign, you won't be punished for such nonsense. You can rest assured of that. Okay, I'm just not sure of that whole thing. Right. But I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, pup, pup. Because he was more than willing to be like, oh, no, no, no. Under my rule, you'll be able to just act how you see fit. He's such like a, a politician, isn't he? Right, yeah. Aw. But why is he there? <laughs> Better looking bitches than you're used to, Uncle. My mother's been looking for you. You ride for King's Landing today. Before you go, you will call on Lord and Lady Stark and offer your sympathies. What good will my sympathies do then? None, but it is expected of you. The boy means nothing to me. Oh, I can't stand the wailing of women. Oh, he slapped him. <laughs> I'm telling mother. Oh. <laughs> so he is a weasel. But first you will get to Lord and Lady Stark, and you will fall on your knees in front of them and tell them how very sorry you are. That you are at their service and that all your prayers are with them. You can't. Slap them again. Get him you again. Understand? So Tyrion seems like he wants to like Do make the, right the family look good in a yeah. way. Yeah. Just remember that, little lord. I hope so. <laughs> if he forgets, be a good dog and remind him. Dang, dog. Time for breakfast. He is a strong personality. Bread and two of this little fish. And a mug of dark beer to wash it down. Beloved siblings. Is Bran going to die? Apparently not. Ooh, that's stressful news for them. <laughs> what do you mean? The maester says the boy may live. I bet y'all love that. <laughs> that's stressful. It's no mercy letting a child linger in such pain. Only the gods know for certain. All the rest of us can do is pray. Where's your sense of wonder? The greatest structure ever built. The intrepid men of the Night's Watch. You're not <laughs> thinking of taking the black. The whores would go begging from dawn to Casterly Rock. <laughs> no, I just want to stand on top of the wall and piss off the edge of the world. What's he talking about, man? I have no idea. <laughs> Is he talking about going to that wall? I don't know. And peeing off of it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, even if the boy lives, he'd be a cripple. Give me a good, clean death any day. Speaking for the grotesques, I'd have to disagree. Life is full of possibilities. I hope the boy does wake. I'd be very interested to hear what he has to say. Our times you make me wonder whose side you're on. You wound me. You know how much I love my family. So that'll be interesting to see because they obviously have a like divisive dynamic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like it seems like it's them two against him. Yeah, it does, right? The queen lady was looking at him like she wanted to stab him. I would have addressed your grace. This is your home. I'm your guest. I lost my first boy. Little blackhead beauty. Aww. He was a fighter too. Tried to beat the fever that took him. I never knew. Robert was crazed. Beat his hands bloody on the wall. All the things men do to show you how much they care. Dude, I'm... That, ooh. Dude, this is making me think a lot of crazy stuff that they're not saying, though. I know. Like, I'm getting the vibe that she killed the baby. Took him away and I never saw him again. Never visited the crypt. 
Never. Never, huh? Well, she don't understand it. I don't understand it. But you know what I'm saying, though? Her and the king had a baby, and she... The vibe the vibe that I'm getting is she doesn't want to be with the king. She wants to be right. with her brother or something. But she was like, maybe she can't because he's not the king. And maybe she, like, killed the child? Yeah, that was sketch, what she said. Well, she's obviously evil. She just went and talked to her straight to her face, knowing she did that. And, like, tried to make her feel guilty. Right. Like, a what a little... Sword for the wall. I already have one. Good man. Have you swung it yet? Of course I have. At someone, I mean. Strange thing. First time you cut a man. Realize we're nothing but sacks of meat and blood uh -oh. and some bone to keep it all standing. Let me thank you ahead of time. Wildlings and white walkers and whatnot. We're grateful to have good, strong men like you protecting us. He kind of hey buddy them, didn't he? We've yeah, got the kingdoms for 8,000 years. Is it we already? Have you taken your vows then? Soon enough. Give my regards to the Night's Watch. I'm sure it will be thrilling to serve in such an elite force. And if not, it's only for life. So he's basically going to the army. Right. And the thing is, is he's in a royal position and he's mocking it. And it's their custom. I know. Right? Like what? And it seems like something you volunteer for. Because I was thinking it was like. Yeah. In the first episode, the uncle said, you have no family when you're in it. You don't have kids. You don't have nothing. You are like committed to that. So it's like and that army. guy got his head cut off for not even committing to it or whatever. Or for, yeah. Deserting it. Yeah. My things weren't properly folded. <laughs> Who cares how they're folded? They're going to get all messed up anyway. I'm area. Gloves. Oh, Nymeria. That's a cute name. A long one. Impressive. Shut up. <laughs> Nymeria, gloves. <laughs> I have something for you. A present. Oh, we got her a sword. Oh, that's what that guy was welding up. You're so skinny. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> I want her command's head off, but it can poke him full of holes if you're quick enough. <laughs> if you're quick enough. First lesson, sticking with the pointy end. <laughs> I'm going to miss you. Careful. Well, I, I don't know. I don't understand why he's going to the wall. Maybe she's not his real family, but it's better than nothing, right? Kind of yeah. like his little sister, right? Well, maybe he just like well, feels like he's no pointless there. Yeah, maybe that's just what society expects of you in that situation. Sansa can keep her sewing needle. I've got a needle of my own. <laughs> her sword. Came to say goodbye to Bran. You said it. Dang, she's mean. Well, I mean, she thinks her man's probably like had him and brought him home. Wasn't that a long time ago, though? I mean, you raised him, right? Right. I'm going north with Uncle Benji. I'm taking the black, but you'll be able to come visit me, Castle Black, when you're better. I'll know my way around by then uh -huh. we can go out walking beyond the wall if you're not afraid do you hear the wind blowing like the cold wind in the fireplace right crackling and she was hoping he'd die not go to the black wall dang oh because he said we can walk past the wall like that's not you probably shouldn't say that right because that's like a whole legal act that's a good job catching that boo well like i got beheaded for it like it's probably a bad thing to do oh no i thought you were saying because if he survives is he gonna be able to walk well <laughs> no <laughs> I don't I doubt it because like he probably broke his spine. He landed on his back. Oh, I thought that's when she got mad. Oh, you I get it. I now. thought that's what yeah, you were saying. No, I get it now. I thought it was because that guy got beheaded and he was like walking. No, I thought she got pissed because you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, he can't walk. <laughs> Wait, he can't even wake up. He's in a coma. 17 years ago. Oh, God. I'm bringing up that old junk. Back a year later with another woman's son. And now you're leaving again. Man. I have no choice. You do have a choice and you've made it. Dang. I hope he doesn't have to leave like that. I really can't. You can't. As far as she's concerned, he might as well be dead. He's about to just disappear. That's tough, man. Who he calls, though? To run. He's not going to die. You Starks are hard to kill. My mother, she was very kind. Next time I see you, you'll be all in black. It was always my color. Farewell, Snow. And you, Stark. Oh, so he never claimed Stark. Man, tell him not to go. I guess this just shows, like, kind of what bastards were to them back then. Like, nobodies, I guess. So, like, in their minds, they always knew he was going to have to go find his own way. And I guess it also shows how tight families are, I guess. Mm -hmm. I really hope that little boy wakes up. It's great honor serving in the Night's Watch. Starks have manned the wall for thousands of years. And you are a Stark. You might not have my name, but you have my blood. Man, I like Ned. He's a cool dude. Yeah, Ned's Is my awesome. mother alive? Oh, snap. The next time we see each other, we'll talk about your mother. So there'll be a next time. He knows it. I thought he would go to the Night's Watch forever and never see him again. No, I think earlier he said, well, when we were talking about earlier, he told Bran that he could come visit him. He could come visit him. Right. So maybe yeah. Ned can come visit him. Oh, look at him going the complete opposite way. Well, we pass. So yeah. they're going south to King's Landing and he's going. I, don't I think remember. that's what the map I don't said. Remember. Half a mind to go with you. What do you say? Just you and me on the King's Road? A couple of tavern wenches. You'd have asked me 20 mm -hmm. years ago. He's a married man now. So is he. <laughs> no, he don't care. His ain't worth nothing, though. His is. Oh, what was her name? Thank the gods for Bessie and her tits. <laughs> what? We were at war. None of us knew if we were going to go back home again. Too hard on yourself. At least he feels bad about it, though. Worst thing about your coronation, I'll never get to hit you again. <laughs> 
Daenerys Targaryen weds some Dothraki horse lord. What of it? Can we send her a wedding gift? A knife, perhaps a good sharp one. So they know about them and they don't like them. What Rhaegar Targaryen did to your sister? I'll kill every Targaryen I get my hands on. Oh, okay, so... It's Khal Drogo. Okay, I see. He said he has 100,000 men in his hall. They have no ships, Robert. They can build ships, right? He will not cross. And if by chance he does, we'll throw him back into the sea. Ooh, so some bad stuff could be a brewing. There's a war coming, Ned. Oh my gosh. I don't know who we'll be fighting, but it's coming. So Ooh, it's making sense anxious. now. In the first one, when they were talking about the people, like, call your name and all that, these are the people they were talking about. Mm. He thinks that he should rule there, basically. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm starting to see it. Oh, gosh. She doesn't seem to like it anymore. I mean, I don't know. You guys try to come and take that. Mm -hmm. She just got her mind on them dragon eggs. What I was saying is their family, the blonde's family, killed Ned Stark's sister. Right. That's I guess in saying. a horrific so, way. So I guess they'd been at war before. I'm telling you. Oh, no. Ah, rapers. They were given a choice, no doubt. Castration or the wall. Most choose the knife. Oh, mm. wow. The wall's that bad. Lovely thing about the watch. You discard your old family and get a whole new one. Why is he subliminally trying to talk him out of it? I don't know. Why'd you read so much? <laughs> Look at me and tell me what you see. Is this a trick? <laughs> What you see is a dwarf. Things are expected of me. Father was the hand of the king for 20 years. Until your brother killed that king. Until my brother killed him. The king? My sister married the new king. And my repulsive nephew will be king after him. <gasps> the weasel. Oh, that little blonde kid? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Well, he's young. I hope he has a whole attitude change. That's why I read so much Jon Snow. He's sharpening his sword. What's your story, bastard? Ask me nicely and maybe I'll tell you. Dwarf. That kind of buds, Loki. The Night's Watch protects the realm. Ah, from... yes. You're a smart boy. You don't believe that nonsense. So they think this is up there doing work for nothing. Is that why his family mocks it? He thinks it's like a... A joke. Almost like Boogeyman. Oh, ice monsters and they're... But they're really Boogeyman set up by the people in power to keep people like this busy, maybe. I have no idea. I don't know, dude. Because he just said, like... You're too smart to believe in, like, Boogeyman. Right. And that's why the, the brother who likes his sister, that's why that dude, he's mocking it, I guess. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks he's more of a man than people on that. You want to know how much this royal visit has cost us? Oh, no. All about it. Who went south with Lord Stark? We need a new steward. And there are several other appointments. I don't attention. care about appointments. I'll make the appointments. Two bees. We'll talk about it first thing in the morning. Very good, my lord. Maester Lewin says the most dangerous time has passed. What if he's wrong? Bran needs me. Rickon needs you. He's six. Close the windows. I can't stand it. Please make them stop. What you see? You stay here. I'll come back. What? Why would there be fire? You're not supposed to be here. It's a mercy. He's dead already. What? No. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, oh she's, she's grabbing, she's grabbing the blade. Oh. Dude. Ah. Who is this dude? Oh my god, he cut her hands. Oh open. my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Good thing y'all kept those wolves, don't they? Yes. Aww. Aww. So that means they tried to have him assassinated the, the so queen. So they and the started brother. that fire. So that fire was a distraction. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, boy. It's a good dog. Look, just chilling. Oh, crazy. Crazy, dude. What the? So basically, you're going to have to protect that kid day and night after that. Yeah, like, that wolf said I ain't taking anything. my eyes off of him. Did you see him? Have you ever seen a dragon? A dragon gone, Khaleesi. Brave men killed him. He's known. Once there were two moons, but one wandered too close to the sun and it cracked. Out of it poured a thousand, thousand dragons and they drank the sun's fire. Moon is no egg. Moon is goddess, wife of sun. It is known. It is known. It is known. <laughs> Leave me with her. I've never thought about it. The moon is the the sun's wife. I never thought about that either. <laughs> I was nine when my mother sold me to the pleasure house. Oh my God. Can you teach me how to make the call happy? Yes. Would it take three years? Oh, so she's going to manipulate him? Yeah, I guess so. Or maybe she like, we'll just try to be a good wife. I don't know. Well, how do you be a good wife to him? Wake up every morning, go catch him a bear. Braid his long ponytail. Check it out. I hope he in. loses in combat. And he dies. I thought they just cut off his hair, so he has to uh, have shame. No, you have to kill him and cut their hair off. <laughs> oh. You didn't see that at the wedding? I thought they said he has to walk around the rest of them. They have to like... Yeah, shame when you die. They get to choke know. your brain around, probably. Could be wrong. Dang, yeah, I hope she picks up on something. Oh, is she investigating? Is that yeah, what that's doing? where we fell, right there. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't really realize what she was doing. Ew, Jamie Lannister's pubic hair? <laughs> Ew, <laughs> no. How would she even know, though? It's just a blonde hair. Is that his name, Jamie? I think Bran fell from that tower. I think he was thrown. Who is he? 
the old guy. Am I supposed to know that? Mm. I murder an what innocent child him? unless he saw something he wasn't meant to see. But I would stake my life the Lannisters are involved. The handle dragon bow. Someone gave it to him. They come into our home and try to murder my brother. If it's war they want, we don't know the truth yet. I don't trust a raven to carry these words. I will go myself. I don't want the Lannisters to know I'm coming. Well, what about Bran? I have prayed to the Seven. Bran's life is in their hands now. She gave it to the God. But why does she keep calling him the Seven? There's a lot of stuff that I really need to learn about this guy. Just bear with me there's like a lot this is just kind of overwhelming in a lot of ways did his eye just twitch love comes in at the eyes it is said that erigenia of lease could finish a man with nothing but her eyes but she sounds like an interesting woman <laughs> she feels awkward men want what they've never had <laughs> he's getting better a little practice <laughs> if he wanted the dothraki way why did he marry you I know, but that girl right there might end up getting her slapped. <laughs> she thinks she knows too much. I know. Well, maybe she does. I don't know. I don't even know her. <laughs> yeah, who is that? <laughs> that? He looks so scary. It looks like his hair is going to tickle his butt. <laughs> or get stuck between his cheeks. Right. <laughs> no. Has, um, had he's like, what the, the hell? language. He's so unpredictable. I don't know if he's going to, like, kill her. Right. He looks so confused. That little spot was crazy, don't it? I have no idea where they're at, though. It was cool. Just out in the woods. It was just on the trail? Yeah. She is a dog, too? Or is she watching that guy's when he goes to... Oh, no, his, uh, his has red eyes. He frightens me, too. Look at that face. <laughs> I'm sorry if I offended you, sir. He just, just walk away, dude. What are you doing? He just permanently offended. <laughs> Why won't he speak to me? He hasn't been very talkative these last 20 years since the Mad King had his tongue ripped out with hot pincers. Oh. oh. What is a sweet lady? <laughs> <laughs> is the hound frightening you? You're scaring my lady. Oh, so that's already his lady. I don't like to see you upset. The sun's finally shining. You like some taller, I feel. <laughs> Day lady. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have any more. My princess can drink as much as she wants. <laughs> he's just playing the role, isn't he? He really thinks he calls a shot. Look at his little ring <laughs> listening right there. I know he's like, line. is he just trying to be cool? Don't worry. You're safe with me. What is he supposed to be? Like 14, 15, <laughs> something like that? Go away. Your sister. And who are you, boy? He's the butcher's boy. He's my friend. It's to be a knight, eh? Pick up your sword, butcher's boy. Let's see how good you are. Uh-uh. You got a real sword. I'm your prince, not your lord. And I said... Pick up your sword. It's not a sword, my prince. It's only a stick. And you're not a knight. Only a butcher's boy. Man, back up. Stay out of this. I won't hurt him much. Ah. Uh. That redhead girl's got to know that. <gasps> Oh, caught him. Yes. Oh, oh she's oh, he he trying to take her head her. off. He would have killed her. You're spoiling everything. And her sister's sitting there yelling at her. I got you, you little cunt. Bye. There you go. Yeah, hit an artery. I don't like him. Oh, my God. No. Yeah. You little... Arya, leave him alone! Man, I kind of hope she kills him. No, she would She would get so much for that, though. I know she would, but look at this little prick. You can't grow up and let him That roll. would start a whole war if she did that. Yeah, throw it in the river. I know, but he's such a little oh, rat. Oh, no. Though. They're going to get in so much trouble, those two. Poor Prince, look what they did to you. Stay here. I'll go back to the inn and bring help. Then go! Man, that little girl taught you a lesson, didn't she? They'll kill you for what you did to Joffrey. Aww. Oh, no. Run! Go! Leave! Now! I hate it. I hate dogs and people and shows. Yeah, baby girl. Dang, they're really looking for that dog like that? Oh, they're looking for Arya. Arya. That's a cool name, Arya. Arya! Oh, her dad's looking for her. That's Ned. They found her. She's been taken directly before the king. The Lannisters found her. The queen ordered them to bring her straight to him. Yeah, you see war brewing? I'm feeling it. Because they done took that dude's little girl. He's like, back up. Back up. Back up. Back your ass up. Back up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You hurt? Why was my daughter not brought to me at once? How dare you speak to your king in that manner? Quiet, woman. <laughs> <laughs> I never meant to frighten the girl. That animal of hers nearly tore his arm off. That's not true! That animal of yours, lady. He was hurting Micah. Joff told us what happened. You and that boy beat him with clubs while you set your wolf on him. That's not what happened! Then y'all should be mad at him. <laughs> they all attacked me and she threw my sword in the river. Oh, boo-hoo. Oh. I wouldn't admit that a little girl beat me up me ever. Either. Where's your other daughter, Ned? In bed asleep. Sansa. Come here, darling. Oh, man. <gasps> no. I don't like her. That little red. What's her name? Sansa. Sansa. I don't Sansa. like, I don't like Sansa. Sansa. It's a great crime to lie to a king. You better not. I don't know. Oh, she's lying. I didn't see. Liar! 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 
<laughs> oh, she's showing herself to be violent, ain't she? Mm -hmm. I want her punished. What would you have me do? Whip her through the streets? Children, fight. It's over. Joffrey will bear these scars for the rest of his life. Oh, boo hoo. You let that little girl disarm you. That's what right, I'm saying. Right, that's what I'm saying. And you're supposed to be a king one day and you're gonna let a little girl take it from you easy? See to it that your daughter's disciplined. I'll do the same with my son. Gladly, your grace. And what of the dire wolf? Oh, you. Please stop. I forgot the damned wolf. We found no trace of the dire wolf, your grace. So be it. We have another wolf. Who's? Dire wolf's no pet. Get her a dog, she'll be happier for it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not Lady. Lady didn't bite anyone she's good lady was it there no nah, that's on you little redhead girl you could have told the truth please it wasn't lady i mean if she would have told the truth it'd have been war probably but if it must be done i'll do it myself is this some trick the wolf is of the north she deserves better than a butcher i've never seen that guy before Who? that one that hugged him never seen him i'm trying to change the subject <laughs> who was a that boy. you wrote him down he ran not very fast. Oh, they killed him. Wow. I literally hate that family. They're a bunch of tyrants, I feel like the king's they? not that bad because he like likes Ned, but the queen is horrible. That little rat of a son of hers is horrible. Somebody in this whole kingdom oh just God. has to hate themselves enough to <laughs> no, just go. Oh, no, that sweet baby. <laughs> My poor dog. <laughs> okay, I hate seeing dogs. I don't know what it is. <laughs> he woke up though. Crazy into the episode, bro. Jesus. <laughs> Crazy episode, guys. So this royal family coming to Winterfell, Winterfell, just ruins everything, man. It, it appeared like they had a lot of symmetry going on, man. There was a lot of yin and yang. It seemed like they were really finding a way to like get through life there, as hard as life appears to be in this show, right? The show has a very like gothic, dark age, renaissance feel to it, right? Where life is hard and it's symbolized by all the, the coal and the metals and the iron working and Royal Family came in and just put a dent in everything, man. They've taken all the best people from the town um, to took replace the, the took people. The dad. Yeah, because they're replacing all the people from King's Landing that they've had to basically get rid of, poison, whatever the case may be. They're taking the best people. That little dude's a prick, man. I said in the last episode, he's probably Jeffrey the hero of the story. There's is. no I shot. I don't like him at all. He's such a little D-bag. The thing about the show, man, is this made it very clear who you're supposed to root for and who you're supposed to hate. In my mind, I would like to think, you know, as naive as it may be, that we all understand that you shouldn't bully a little kid playing with some little girl out in the woods playing sticks. You shouldn't abuse your power. You shouldn't put down a random dog just to like appease someone's wrath these type of things man and the show makes it very clear who you're supposed to hate and i'm hating them man i you know if that's what it's supposed to do i cannot stand them the queen hater. it seems like she's gonna try to pick apart that family like what one. is her aim babe what is she uh, doing i think all because the brothers saw the son i mean the son saw her and the brother oh and he's and so, alive like he's still living so it's one of those psychology things where when you wrong someone instead of like being humble and apologizing you justify it and so you end up hating that person and harming that person because you'd rather just hate them than apologize well just Jeffrey's her son, so she's gonna stick up for him regardless. So when like that dog attacked her, him, she would take anything and do anything just to, like mess like mess with the Starks. I feel like the imp. I like what the imp said about it. What do you say? He slapped him. He slapped <laughs> him three times inside his head. That's yeah. what that's what needs to happen to him. I think I think if he's like in line to be king, he has a lot to learn. What he I'm trying to understand to is if the king is the king's the king seems like a screw up, right? For sure. But he seems like morally like fair, kinda kind of fair right i mean you like know. kind of fair like maybe he's a good king but like just a bad person maybe by our standards, maybe you sure. can do that i don't know maybe you can do that i don't know right yeah by our standards you know but why doesn't he put some discipline into his son i mean his son's a like a tyrant i know and the king doesn't really appear to be you know like mrs october was saying he does appear to be fair the king's gonna grow up and literally bring hell to earth so i think they need I, to do something i hope that. that they that the king realizes like that that guy is not fit to be I can tell you right now he's not. He's just a little spoiled brat. Right. And you know, something that's really bothering me, um, I don't really know how I'm supposed to feel about her. That's something reacting to other series that we've learned is you guys do have expectations on how we're supposed to feel about characters. And when we do not meet those expectations, you guys are really quick to let us know that we're wrong. But the one girl, man, with the red hair, the daughter, the one that saw the activities happen, as far as I'm concerned, man, I just don't like her. I don't, I don't like her either. I, I, th I feel like she was so quick to decide with them because she wants to be royal or something. Well, you know, she sees how easy Evil, like a little piss at that kid is. Yeah. I mean, like, how is that attractive? Like, how well, does that do anything to your soul other than I make you I see her side like, though, hateful? because because she's also like a start getting into this 
this royal family like you know she's gonna have to like have a kid w with that guy to like i guess like they said the guy said in the crypts he said we're gonna marry our children we can do that or whatever to join our houses or whatever and i feel like she maybe is doing that at, because of that like she feels like it's her duty right and i understand um well i think what the way it's coming off to me is it's not so much like oh it's my duty i have to do it for the honor well, of my right now she family. seems like she wants to do yeah, it yeah it seems like she just Genuinely. wants to clout basically right Right. And so in my eyes, dude, I just don't like her. Yeah, and, I, don't, you know. I don't like her either because she was so quick to give up that dog. But when it was her dog, oh, no, oh, it wasn't yeah, her. Oh. Lady didn't do and it. And the dog didn't do anything wrong in the first place. Sweet I mean, this little tyrant dog. was swinging, swinging sharpened iron at your little sister's head. Could have totally cut her, could have slit her throat, could have killed her, could have maimed her, could have blinded her, did not care at all. In my mind, she only has one thing in mind, and that's, you know, power. So to me, she's reminding me more of the queen than one of yes, the star people. Yes, like she so. is acting like the queen. I don't know what's up with that, man. I don't really. Let's talk about the blondes because there's like that side and then there's the other side what do you mean the blonde group uh i don't remember their house name you, you guys know who i'm talking about but oh the people across the sea yes okay so so she learned she's basically taking the she's been i don't know if she's manipulating him or she actually likes the guy i don't think she likes him the she Aquaman. said very clearly she doesn't want to marry him she wants to go home he said well where are you gonna go and i think she realized well I, you know i'm just here i have this role to play i might as well do my best you know, I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But Because they're using them for an army. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. But the guy said, that's something else that happened in this episode. One of the men said that they can't come over because they don't have a ship. Mm -hmm. So, and you said build ships, but like, I really, I'm not trying to sound mean to that tribe, but I just don't see them building a Oh, ship. yeah, I mean, they're like, so tribal. They don't have like a lot of like like resources like that they're not a very sophisticated people that are gonna work together and you know use mathematics to build yeah i mean he said at the wedding cool. killing four of or a few of them is a dull a right. dull event or something right so honestly guys man uh we're doing our best so the thing is i feel like i'm doing an okay job at understanding what i'm supposed to understand but i do realize that i keep jumping to conclusions like uh when she was talking about her baby for example in my mind i felt like she killed the baby i don't know why like i think that's like what the show was trying to underline tell me but that's just me jumping to a conclusion but it's only because i, I sort of got these theories working in my head but i can't just sit there and i, I have a, I have a theory wrong. working about okay so i always have theories about like clothes clothes matter to me in shows and in this in this i'm noticing it's like kind of like on lord of the rings yeah like you, where yeah, you're you at all the time but where you're at in lord of the rings it's you, everybody's like that there like remember in the shire everyone had the curly hair yeah. that well, to me, when she said she had a brown headed baby, that she specifically kind of yeah, said she that. said that, and that right. to me, I that threw me off because all their kids are little blondies, like her brother. Yeah, so I'm thinking that maybe like th maybe the brother and her have kids and they just are like letting them rule that's what made me think that she murdered her baby because like you know they said in the show that jeffrey's gonna be king right and so when he becomes king he's gonna he's gonna be he's gonna be <laughs> uh, i hope he doesn't i hope he doesn't but i'm just basically getting the vibe that she boy. wanted him to be king because she loves her brother and that's their kid maybe but she killed the baby i could be totally wrong guys i guess we're gonna see there's gonna be lots of but twists everyone and turns told us in to this. like pick up on dialogue like hard and the thing is when we pick up on dialogue we kind of jump to conclusions you're right, right we yeah. kind of overthink and like and i do want to say guys i did cry a lot because when you see when i see dogs um it pulls at my heartstrings and that was very unexpected i really didn't i, I maybe would see the wolves like you know like in the end like die but why not right now yeah that was brutal like uh those dogs <laughs> died basically episode, because uh, the prince is just a piss ant and that, that sucked but yeah guys we're probably gonna be right a lot we're gonna be wrong a lot uh mrs october is probably gonna cry a lot mm -hmm. i might you know you might see me cry too so if you guys are down to join this journey man if you guys want to keep hanging out with us and enjoying this awesome content like subscribe come join the team it's really cool watching these with you guys man it's so rewarding to you know finally put in all the work of editing them and getting them out mm -hmm. getting them out there to you guys and then you guys give us the feedback so a lot of guys have said that you know we need to be taking notes and really paying attention and not talking and we definitely do our best uh it's hard not to talk because it's we're you know Reacting. we're passionate about what we're watching right like it's really interesting it makes me want to talk so and guys we edit these things so like exactly. seeing them over and over we're right. we will take notes like we we both talked about it like there's no way we're gonna be able to keep up with these things like and usually, we're just jumping to conclusions well usually i you know usually 
like I've been doing the editing, right? But Mrs. October is editing this series. I'm sticking to the movies and this is her thing, guys. She's the one editing these videos. I help whenever I have time, obviously, but she's probably gonna know more than me because she watches these over and over again and editing and then like in post editing and all that stuff. So she's gonna see the show probably four times more than I will when it's all said and done. But before we put these out, man, I always watch the episodes back, try to catch as many names as we can. And we will get better with that type of stuff, guys. Uh, we know how passionate you are. And, and I, we will pull a map up. Like people said, I think that's a good idea. Well, yeah, we'll I don't, up. But we're gonna do it at the end because I, like I said, we like to be dialed in in these episodes. We like to be right. locked in. We like to catch everything because you said the dialogue is important and that's where I've learned the most, honestly. I've learned a lot in the dialogue. Well, we've also learned that you can you can catch spoilers just by like looking up a thumbnail picture. Yeah. So we're trying really hard not to like let anything be spoiled to us because this series is over. Um, so if we're right or wrong, don't tell us. Just please don't yeah, tell Yeah, please us. don't spoil it in the comments, guys. Uh, you got anything you want to add? No, I'm having a great time. Um, thanks for the support. And if you want us to do more, please like the video. We really want the algorithm to get us out there because we are a movie reaction channel, but we really want to start series because they're actually a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'd like to do more stuff like this. I know there's a couple of really iconic ones that I haven't seen. A lot of them I have seen. Mrs. October probably hasn't because they're probably guy shows. Let's be real. Right. Um, I've seen more, like I said before, if you're new here, man, I've seen a lot more TV shows than I have movies, which is why we decided to make a movie channel. But yeah, I've never seen Game of Thrones and it was going to be Patreon only, you know, but so many people said it'd be a tragedy if we did not put it on YouTube. So we're here. Thank you guys so much for supporting it. This is a lot of fun, man. I'm really excited to see how this series wraps up. Yeah, we'll be back with three and four next a lot of people are saying this is one of the best ones ever made so yeah we're just gonna see yeah it's been the october's thank you guys so much for hanging out until next time peace